It has now officially just been over a year since I first started this channel. Most people that have played games and watched YouTube videos have always thought about starting their own YouTube channel. Some have gone ahead and done it, only to be left disappointed when their Let's Play videos only receive 10 to 15 views. I knew if I was going to start a channel, I wanted it to at least stand out enough to be known for what it does. I remember when I used to play Elite Dangerous and seeing it's an owner's videos, subtitled long videos that would tell the story of an adventure every episode. I thought this would be a great idea for Tarkov. If I have a good raid, I could subtitle it and try to emulate that. And from what very little feedback I got from my early videos, it seemed to be enjoyable for the majority. While the content itself wasn't inherently good, it was different enough to be drawn into. I remember extracting from raids, feeling pumped and immediately closing the game to make a video on that raid. I would stay up till 5 in the morning, learning how to use Premiere and try to fix that pesky audio syncing that so many of you commented about. Then getting a coffee while the video uploaded, with a huge feeling of pride knowing that at least someone would enjoy what I had made. I'll never forget being stuck at 99 subscribers for almost two days and constantly refreshing my phone to see if I had hit three frigates yet. It meant so much to me that something I made was entertaining enough for people to want more of. Soon enough, I started to receive suggestions and could recognise people's names that commented on my videos. I started a Discord server where I've met a lot of fantastic people over the year, but more on that later. Another format I enjoyed was stupidly over-edited videos of clips of memes plastered all over them, and hence I Am Tarkov Man was born. A bad quality, poorly edited parody of that format that at the time I was incredibly proud of. I'd recommend you go back just to see how bad my editing really was back then, and how far I've come now. I then made the horrible realisation that the quality of content didn't matter in the world of popular content. It was the great YouTube thumbnail war, which meant that videos I had poured days of work into would receive 400 views, and stuff that took me half an afternoon would become my most popular video ever. I came to a crossroads, make videos that would be popular and make me feel proud because they were popular, or set out to do what I had wanted in the first place. I began obsessing over whether my channel would crash if I uploaded X or Y, and would constantly barrage my Discord server with feedback and suggestions for videos. And then I stopped making videos. It's strange pouring your heart and soul into something that people would watch and not think twice about after they've seen it, but I guess you are your own toughest critic. I think I now realise that I should just be making videos that I want to make at the time, so I think from now on there will be a lot more variety on this channel than just memes. When I get a video idea, I have to make it then and there, rather than ponder about it. Whether I upload it is a different story. Thanks for sticking around for a year. I'd like to thank a few people in particular that kept me motivated and provided me with a lot of help in videos. Support for me in the comments, and of course, money on the stream and Patreon. So. David N Films for being with me before 50 subscribers. You always gave me a pat on the back for whatever I had made and would leave suggestions and feedback for the next video. I always look forward to seeing you comment when I upload a video. Marak Noor for always giving me a good laugh whenever you comment and being a long time supporter. Jasper for teaching me a lot of what I know about editing, helping me make videos, improve my content and for being an all around good friend. Break his cheeky for being the hottest cheeky in the Discord. Cleaver, or Star Slayer, for being the best duo partner anyone could ask for. Demon, for being the second best duo partner anyone could ask for. Rory, for saving my life on Shoreline that one time. Charlie Huddo, for your long-time support on the stream. Houston, for being an all-around stand-up guy and your continued support. Yummy, for just being hot. Fallout Tech and Epic Denver, for their continued support on Patreon. And my loving girlfriend, for putting up with me showing her memes she didn't care about for over a year. Here's to another good year. I'm glad we had this talk. Now it's personal and you can't be mean to me.